Hi girls, this is Willa. I am so excited to continue our adventure together. Thank you for sharing your pictures of your butterfly observations with Kayla and me. They were wonderful. Are you ready to continue our journey as citizen scientists? Today we are going to combine our observation and field notes skills, and use them to try and solve a problem. This is an important part to becoming scientists, as well as being Girl Scouts, as we put what we know into action to help someone. Are you ready to get started on today's adventure? Alrighty then, let's go. Hey Daisies, welcome back to the third session in our Investigation Await series. My name is Kayla Roloffs and I am with Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines. Willow and I hope that you had fun observing butterflies last week. Thanks to everyone who shared what their projects with us, especially Jessica from Troop 151 in Rhode Island and Vivian from Troop 4005. Before we begin today's activity, let's get started with the Girl Scout Promise and Law. Once you're doing the Girl Scout sign, we'll get started. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Last week, we spent time observing and thinking about the butterflies that were in the room. This week, we're going to do some more thinking, this time to solve a problem. For this activity, you're going to need two chairs that are about the same height and set up about three feet apart from each other. Then you'll need just random supplies from around your house, such as straws, popsicle sticks, toothpicks, toilet paper rolls, string, just whatever you can find. And then you'll need a piece of paper and a pencil or other writing utensil. Today, we have a little problem that we need your help solving. Our garden fairy is on one mountaintop and needs to get over a deep canyon to get to the other mountaintop. Today, we're going to spend some time thinking like engineers and find a way to help our fairy across the canyon. Do you know what an engineer is? An engineer is a person who designs and builds things. What can we, as engineers, build to help our garden fairy across this canyon? Let's get started with some brainstorming. Grab your paper and whatever you're using to write and think of some ideas. Imagine that each chair is a mountaintop and the space between is the canyon. Your job is to design a way to get the garden fairy safely across the canyon. Start off by drawing some ideas on how you can get your fairy safely across. Here we are back at the British Library to learn more about the design process engineers use. First, we need to determine the problem we want to solve. That's right, we want to help the garden fairy make it safely from one mountain top to the other. Next we need to draw out some possible solutions. Start by drawing the two mountain tops on your paper. If you like you can also draw our garden fairy friend. Looking at your picture, what do you think you can build to solve the problem? Maybe she could walk across a tightrope like in the circus. But that doesn't sound very safe, does it? Perhaps a trolley of some sort that runs on a cable from peak to peak? Or maybe you want to design a type of bridge to reach across the canyon? Whatever your design, don't worry about if it can support real weight. It simply needs to reach across the canyon to help her cross. When your design is ready, we will move on to the next part of the design process, building a prototype. A prototype is simply a model, a tool scientists use to show that something can be done. It does not have to look pretty, just that a design either will or will not work. 
Are you ready? Start building your prototype to help our garden fairy. If you need more time, simply pause the video and start again when you are ready. Alright let's get started building. Once you have your ideas, use the materials to start making it and then test it out. And just a note for the adults, instead of giving your daisies the answer to any questions they might have, try asking them questions instead, such as, what could you change about your design? What do you think will happen if you do that? Why not try it out? Now that you have built your model, there are two more steps to our process. We will want to test and evaluate it. You can either use a plain piece of paper, or draw and cut out your own garden fairy. Then see if you can move her across your design between the mountain tops. How did it go? What worked well with your design? Is there a way to make your design a bit better? Or should you add something to make it more stable? Engineers are always trying new things to make their design as perfect as it can be. The final step of the design process is to share your design. Kayla and I can't wait to see all the different ways you girls come up with to help our garden fairy friend. Be sure to look at others' designs as you may come up with new ideas. If you're looking to practice your engineering skills over the next week, think about ways you could solve a problem at home. Engineers do more than just help fairies across a canyon. They work to solve real problems every single day. What is something at your home that could work better or differently? Maybe your TV needs more than one remote to work and you think it could be simpler. Or maybe it takes too long to clean up your toys at the end of the day and you can think of a better way to do it. See what kind of things you can come up with. That's right girls. You can use this same process to help solve other problems. There are many different types of engineers who design everything from computers and buildings to watches and websites. What connects them all is that they use their creativity to solve problems. Do you like to be creative and help people? I know. I do. Today, you did what engineers do. You worked to come up with a plan, you built it, and then you reflected on what worked or didn't work. Feel free to share your creations with us on our Facebook page, and Willow and I really hope that you had fun today. We'll see you again next week when we take a nature walk and observe all of the colors that we can find in nature. Cheerio girls! We'll see you again next week.